I know the balance view training, or I met the balance view training around, let me calculate, 2015 now? Yeah? Okay. Around eight years ago. And I, I can see very distinctly the difference between the life I lived before balance view and the life that I live now. Before there was a lot of focus on what I feel and what I think, what are my data streams. And the main focus really was to try and achieve as many as possible positive data streams. To hold on to a special state that I would then call love or openness or unity or whatever your vocabulary is. But for me that was a very f a big focus of, of my life. While in the meanwhile, while chasing this goal, I also tried to eliminate my negative data streams. I didn't want to feel depressed at 6 a.m. in the morning and also not at 10 a.m. in the morning. I was very confused why it comes and goes and comes and goes and without a specific reason. Sometimes I could blame my parents, but then I didn't, they weren't there, so I blamed myself. And if something else arised, I blamed another person, you see. And there was a constant focusing on data streams trying to achieve the good ones, the juicy ones, the interesting ones, the elevated ones. Being here in India, I try to achieve the spiritual ones, the insights, the good bliss, the perfect bliss that will stay forever. And there were moments, many moments, especially here in India, where I said, oh, I got it, done. No thoughts. Oh, wow, only positive emotions, I love everyone. Mm -hmm. And I really thought, that's it, wow, I'm, I'm, I'm the one. I'm the one and you are not. <laughs> so, like a child, I got so excited and after a moment, of course, the negative thought came, wow, the world is really suffering, people are killing each other. And then the entire blissful state was gone, like a line drawn in space, and then I blamed myself. I did something wrong. I'm not, I'm not good enough. I'm not pure enough. How and who can fix me? How can I fix myself even more? You see, constantly chasing after this one single data stream, and this is very confusing. Coming to Balanced View, there's just complete clarification, and we use words and we use terminology that is simple and modern and accurate. Because what we are sharing is just a direct introduction to open intelligence plus the tools that we can make it obvious to us in everyday life activity. I love the fact that it's everyday life activity rather than just a special <coughs> circumstance because that also brings great joy. I can brush my teeth while having amazing insights about open intelligence and the powers of great benefit before brushing my teeth was just another thing that a human being needs to do every day, three times a day, for me. When I was, when I was obsessed with negativity, it was also six times a day. But um, I wanted to be very clean. <laughs> and um, yeah. In Balanced View, we're introduced to allowing everything to be as it is. There's no need to focus on the descriptions of data, attributing to them an independent nature. This is reification. That's when we speak about suffering or oppression. This is the greatest oppression and the greatest suffering, attributing a, an independent nature to our data streams. You might not see it now, but this is the case. This is the greatest addiction. This is the greatest atrocity that people put themselves into. And now we can free ourselves up from this in short moments repeated many times. What is open intelligence? Stop thinking for a moment what remains. Bright, alert, clarity, openness. This is open intelligence and this is the introduction to open intelligence. And then everything appears within this open intelligence, all the data streams, inseparable from it. Check it in your own experience. I know many of you already mature in open intelligence. So you know that this is the case, but check it again. Inseparable, like the color blue in the sky. This is the nature of the mind. So what it means practically is just complete perceptual openness and complete freedom in all experiences. Now, I don't sit here in front of you and trying to say, yeah, I have only 
positive data streams or I have no data streams, that would be totally rubbish and empty. I live everyday life activity from the vantage of open intelligence. It means just great stability, potency, clarity, the ability to see clearly what will be of most benefit to all. Considering everything deeply from the eyes of the benefit of all. Also extremes of duality versus non-duality, these are seen clearly from open intelligence. I loved when I first came, because I came full of ideas and concepts and think, actually thinking that I know it all already. So he, listening to Candice in the beginning to the videos, I was like, she has better English than me, but I know it already, so <laughs> I don't need to be here. So I kind of disappeared and uh, went to do something else. So, But just coming back to that, I suddenly started to see in my own experience, wait, there is something very profound here. I'm not, uh, I'm not being asked to change myself in any way. I'm being told that I'm perfect as I am. So when you think about the role model of Balanced View, and before I pose to you, the perfect one, I have my nice shirt and or my nice thoughts and emotions. No, it's not the case. Everyone, everyone's right is to enjoy open intelligence and then it's up to us how far we want to take it. Some people would like to stop. Some people would like to stop with feeling okay. I feel okay and stable. Fine. Totally fine, you're welcome. <laughs> Some people would like to take it to really see all of their strengths, gifts and talents for the benefit of all and there's no one way of doing that. The four mainstays, they provide uh, a standardized solution to the education in the nature of intelligence but also a customizable uh, solution for us, for each one of us individually. It's not like a one, t one thing for everyone. Really, each one of us, how we want to, to be empowered. So all the ideas about balanced view, you're not the, one, the only one. Many people have many ideas about balanced view and what it is. Like we have many ideas about coconut water <laughs> and my shirt. And the next thought that I have, mm, many ideas, a good one, a bad one, mm, neutral one, where, where should I position myself? in the arg intellectual argument, many ideas. But then when we take it to our own experience, we see, do I receive benefits of all? And I can tell you, yes, so many benefits, I can't even count them. My relationships are totally harmonized. There's intimate relationship, for example, open up completely before, according to the Hollywood and Bollywood, Bollywood models, it's like, <laughs> the end and afterwards it's like <laughs> according to open intelligence benefit for all the focus on oneself as one closed in the system of an intimate rela I was always paranoid about intimate relationship I looked at adults and I was like how can you stay with the same person for the rest of your life it, I, I thought it's total madness now I'm married with another person who is fully committed to the benefit of all. And then the intimate relationship is vast and open, like clear sky. Before it was like, fix me, I'll fix you. In return, I'll fix you, fix me. Now I'm the problematic one, fix me, I have an issue. Mm, interesting, let's speak about it. We spend hours and so many Skype minutes <laughs> and credit on, on trying to, what do I feel now, what do you feel now? That's what we feel now. I was in another continent. <laughs> and the times where we felt the best and most connected were the times where we both felt the same. Oh. <laughs> you know, it's sweet. Love was always present. But now it's like there's no focus whatsoever on the data streams. It's complete empowerment. I love you. Let's empower each other for the benefit of all. No longer the little game of a closed system. doesn't mean that we don't enjoy intimacy and fun and we like to go to Barcelona whenever we have a minute in our life and, <laughs> you know, and drive together on the scooty to buy coconut water and 
pet our little cat. You see, it's included in the benefit of all. So <laughs> I'm not talk talking about a detached state where the benefit of all is like, mm -hmm, you know. <laughs> Let's relax for a short moment <laughs> with all ideas, please. With all ideas about everything, just relax. Ideas are ideas. The benefit of all pervades all ideas. This is the clear seeing and discernment that comes about by taking short moments. It's so simple, so please listen. So simple. Short moments of open intelligence repeated many times. They make the instinctive recognition of open intelligence obvious at all times. Obvious. Not sometimes, maybe on a full moon and half moon. Obvious. <laughs> Not when you have good ideas, not bad ideas, obvious, all times. So someone like me with a quite a wild display can be of benefit, always. And increasingly so, there's no end point. So my attempts before to reach a destination of open intelligence, now it's like, oh wow, I can't wait to get old and mature with open intelligence recognition and to be supported all the while, to be empowered by the four mainstays of balanced view seeing more and more ideas dissolving into pure space, like light pouring into light. No opposition anywhere. No opposition anywhere. It's not one or another. It's benefit everywhere. It's nice to be told over and over again, by the short moments, by the training, by the trainer and the community, I love you. And, and you are perfect exactly as you are. Nothing about you needs to change. Even not this, what you think is a knot in your experience or a scratch in your beautiful mind. Everything is pristine and wide open. For me, I came with loads of issues and I came to the trainers. Let's analyze it. I came here, <laughs> let, let's just analyze it. And what I received was like a smile, like, what are you talking about? Who needs to analyze what? Let it be as it is and stop changing and fighting with yourself. Let it be as it is. And if you don't understand what it means, just show up. Show up to, to, to the Four Mainstays. I'll just share briefly about history. All of my life I had nightmares about atrocities from the past, since I can remember myself. So for me, nightmares are a beautiful ground of discovering short moments of open intelligence. Really, I practiced there spontaneously without contrivance and really seeing and feeling everything fully. So, and there was a lot of victimhood within it. Seeing history in the eyes of reification, it's very specific and also depends which history book you write, you, you read. And it was very confusing and loaded and I thought it's something I will need to carry with me all of my life. Now in Balanced View, I am in incredible intimate touch with at least three, if not more, German people. We work together, it's like family, complete love, fluency, there's acknowledgement of the past, what reification caused, really, seeing clearly. This is, this is the extremes of reification, when it, almost an entire nation can do something like that. And also today, we don't need to go so far see what reification cause. My cause is better than yours. And that's what will happen to you if you don't believe in my cause. So to see nowadays complete openness in relating, again, no, no avoidance of what happened in the past, but seeing together the bright future that open intelligence pro provides, which is based on unity, on prosperity, generosity, and complete outshining of all negativity whatsoever, personally and collectively. And this is what the Four Mainstays offer. I'm so grateful for that, because otherwise my life would be a life of a victim. And now I chose to give up the right to be a victim. This is one of the, the invitations in the Balanced View training. And this is the choice that all of us have. Up to us. That's complete empowerment. No one is pushing it on you or taking it away from you. You know it's available and it's up to you, like it's up to me. So.